You like how it seemed like I was gonna do a pretty professional, useful video and then I just fell apart? Me too. Hello, long time no see. I have um, been an entire mess for many reasons, which I will not go into, but I'm back. I got a new camera. Black Friday was yesterday. And my birthday is coming up on Tuesday, so <clears throat> excuse me. I have a cough. I've been sick. Added to the list. Um, so in leading up to Black Friday, I've been doing a lot of shopping for clothes. So I kind of want to do a little bit of a try on haul because I have hella stuff from Boohoo. I have a little bit from Fashion Nova. I'm looking at my clothing rack right here. Um, and is that it? I feel like I'm missing somebody. Some shoes from DSW. So yeah. So I guess I'll kind of show you sort of what my fall to winter color scheme is because I actually have one for once. Usually I'm all over the place and I somehow managed to actually pick some colors to stick within. Um, ironically, one of the main colors is um, army green or like an olive army green and those clothes are all dirty right now because I washed everything up until my last load before filming this. So that's kind of annoying to me, but hopefully by the time I do the trial, I'll have some of those pieces as well, because some of those are my favorite pieces, because the green, I'm super into it. I even have some shoes that are green, so I'm looking at my clothing rack, and I'm like, oh, there's not enough green there to represent what my wardrobe really looks like, but whatever. I'm rambling. It's been a really long time. I've missed you. I've missed um, filming. I've just been like feeling really like a perfectionist, and just like I have just, I've been, I just have weirdness going on. But... Like I said, Black Friday, I got a new camera, which I'm using right now, so I'm gonna insert a clip of me showing you the camera. It's a Canon uh, T6, um, the EOS, EOS Rebel T6, um, which I know is not the best camera in the world, but it's also not the worst, and before I had like the Canon, like a point and shoot, basically, like a, like this, like this super, I'll show it to you, actually. I just have the, the camera I used to film for you guys on is this one. Canon PowerShot Elf 350HS, and I, it's just, I am not in love with this camera. I don't know if I'm gonna be in love with this camera either. I think I also have to like learn perspective because my friend Greg, who's been filming my random get, um, outfit of the days, he films on my iPhone and makes it look fucking phenomenal. So I'm like, maybe I just don't really have an eye for filming. Like I can take a picture, but filming is like, Angles. Like, if you've seen how long it took me to set up this, and I know this is not great, my wall in my living room is super bare, but like, this took me forever to figure out because I was like, I feel like when I do it straight on, it's not good. So, you guys can weigh in and let me know if this is the right angle to film in versus straight on. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, what, did I, what, did, what did I do? Black Friday. I went to Target to get a camera and a TV. They sold out my TV. I wanted the um, Samsung 50-inch Ultra 4K, Ultra HD 4K TV. I am not able to speak English. Um, and, of course, it sold out. Um, so I was looking everywhere, and I could have bought it before Black Friday. So first of all, actually, no, I didn't go to Black I didn't, didn't go on Black Friday. I went Thursday evening after Thanksgiving because I went to a friend's house for Thanksgiving. And none of my family says so that, like, normally I don't go out shopping Thanksgiving night because I would just spend it with family and I'd be in and that would be it and I wouldn't go out until Black Friday the next day. But since I'm here and I don't have family here, I'm not, I don't have like that sense of commitment or like need to be with people all night because like the only people I would want to be in a house with all day and all night like that would be my family or really close friends. And my really close friend that I went with I don't know her family. It's my first time meeting them. It was great. It was lovely. But then she, you know, she and her girlfriend went home. So then I was like, okay, I'm going home to my house, right? So anyway, um, I really wanted to throw, maybe I'll make this a video. Um, I really wanted to throw Thanksgiving at my, for everyone this year, I really wanted to cook. And for a number of reasons that wasn't able to happen. And so I'm really glad that my friend invited me over to her house with her family because otherwise I would have been really, really depressed. Anyway, so I went after they dropped me off. I was online looking at all the things that I had I'd already made a list. 
And I was already like, oh my God, are you gonna spend out so many? But it's my birthday and I don't have a boo and I don't really have that many friends and I'm kind of low. So I was like, you know what? I'm treating myself. I usually treat myself anyway for Black Friday because it's right around my birthday. But I was like, I don't care. I'm gonna get what I want. So um, while I was at Target, of course it's Target. So I got some other stuff. So I've been also trying to like nest and get my house the way I want it. So I've been like, painting which i'll insert a clip of like the wall that i did um and trying to get my bathroom in order because there's no storage in my bathroom my bathroom's really tiny i'm gonna show you that too i believe and so i got one of those rails so i'll start there actually let me show you what i got for the bathroom <clears throat> and then i'll show you a picture of what it looks like now it's nowhere near finished but i got oh, this guy um so yeah it's just like a, a super basic like Shower tension rod caddy, as it says. Um, and I'm kind of blown that it took me so long to get this because when I set it up and put all of my stuff, I was just like, this makes your life so much easier because I have a couple of baskets, these really pretty baskets on the fucking floor. And it's so hard every day to try to rummage through because I'm a product junkie. I have so much product, like hella skincare, hella hair care, hella body care, like. And now they're just like lined up so neatly in the shower. Where uh, I need to use them. Life changing. So anyway, started there. Um, and then also, um, so I have a, um, a hand towel in the bathroom that matches this uh, bath mat I got. It has an M on it for Monica or Moni. That's my name, if you don't know, because I feel like I've never actually said my name in these videos. No, I don't. Um, so yeah, I got this to go with it. And um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I didn't get it when I got the hand towel because I was like, I feel like it's too much. Like, I don't own anything that's monogrammed in my entire house. And I'm not usually the kind of person that wants M's all over the place, but like, I've dated a lot, a couple of really neurotic people recently, and they're wearing off on me, and so they love their name and their letters, and they have everything in their name and their letters, and so I'm like, I don't have anything. So now I have the mud that I'm drinking my tea out of that I got when I was dating the person before the last person I was dating. I got her one too, but whatever she says. M, the Scrabble M. Um, and I think that was the first thing I purchased that has an M. Um, when I show you the wall that I painted, there's an M on that now. And now I have this in this hand towel. Like, I've gone M crazy. Who am I right now? I feel really, it's really bizarre, but I'm, I'm here for it. Whatever, I don't care. So I got this. And I just think it's really cute. That's it. That's it for the bathroom. Um, then, I don't know what happens when you become an adult. But like, I feel like you split into two people. One part of you is like, okay, now I must be an adult and I'm gonna get these things. And there's this other part of you that's like, I don't need to get these things because I have them, but you don't have them. Your parents have them and so you don't have them, so you need them. Um, and so I have this problem with very specific weird things, but I also have started to have this problem because I've, I've lived with many of my exes and when I break up someone, I peace out. I'm like, bye, see you later. And I, I lose valuable household things that you need in your life like for the longest when I moved here I thought I had a can opener because I bought so many freaking can openers between roommates and exes that I'm like there's no way I don't have a can opener but I feel like I had that same mentality when I first moved out of my mother's house I was like yeah there's one and it's like no no that's at your mom's house it's not at your house you don't have one so I do this a lot with kitchen stuff, especially because I'm a huge foodie. I love to cook. Um, and when I first got to this place, I was kind of, I was at a point where I was really anti. So I was not buying any high-end stuff for this kitchen or even any little gadgety things because I I bought it all before and lost it all before. I had one of my exes like steal my KitchenAid mixer. Fuck her too. Why is this like a rant about my exes? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. And so like when I moved here, like for the longest, I would just like go to make something and then I wouldn't have like a microplane. And I'm like, I have a microplane? How many microplanes have I bought? Like, I don't have a can opener. I don't have a vegetable peeler. Like. So anyway, I'm trying to get my life in order. So in the kitchen, I expect it. But what I also somehow managed to do, I have a down comforter, and I have these two blankets that are really pretty but from Ikea, but they're not useful. Like, they're, like, very 
flat woven quilts, you know what I mean? And so they're not super warm. And so I'm always cold. I'm cold because I don't have enough blankets. Like I don't own any blankets. Like I have a quilt, I have two, two quilts, I have a down comforter, and I have duvets for my down comforter, but I don't have any blankets. Like how do I not have any blankets? And I have like this old childhood raggedy blanket, like a two or three of those types of things, but they're not big enough to warm my entire body. So when I saw the Target was having blankets, I was like, I need blankets. So I got this one. It's a sweater blanket. Oh my God, it's so good, it's so cute. Um, and this one's for the couch. Cause this is my couch that I love and it's kind of plain. I want to get some pillows for it and stuff. And because I got such a distinct couch, it's really hard to figure out what the fuck I can and can't put on it. But I felt like this would be like, I feel like this works, right? Like that's, it's like oatmeal kind of chill, right? Um, so I'm pumped because now when I'm on the couch, I can snuggle up under this blanket. It's gonna be amazing. And then I also got one for my room, for my bed. Um, and the color that I'm obsessed with, most out of all the colors that I'm obsessed with for fall, is this dusty rose and or mauve and or um, rose gold. Those colors, that color scheme. And so I saw this and I was like, <laughs> obviously. So this is like basically the same, I believe, sweater knit blanket. But this one's a queen and this one is a twin because I didn't care about the size for this one because it's just for the couch and it doesn't need to be huge. But this one is a queen for my bed and I'm so pumped because it's so warm and I'm going to have what is life? What is this luxury that I'm giving to myself right now? Like, oh my God, I can actually maybe sleep without the heat on, like, or maybe just not freeze to death. Maybe stop having to wear socks, because that's another thing I really hate that I've had to do. Like, come on, love yourself. So I'm just trying to love myself. And I'm really pumped about both of these. So I guess I may move those off to the side. What else did I get? Oh, and Sorry about that, my camera decided to stop or turn off, so I don't know. It's new, I have to figure out how to work it, but um, yeah. So what was I saying? Um, I got a clothing rail and like a mirror. I didn't even have a full length mirror. This is the type of shit I'm talking about. Like in certain ways, I have like really nice high end or weird like cute homey things that would make you think I have my life together. But then I have things like I don't have a full length mirror, like I've never, I don't think I've ever owned a full length mirror. Like, how do I get dressed in the morning? Like, how do I know what I look like? Like, how do I coordinate my life? So I got <laughs> a full length mirror. Um, and it's a really pricey one for my kids because I have a problem. Like I said, with my shopping, whatever. Um, so my room is very girly. That's where I was going with this. Now that I have like my little fairy lights up and I made like this cute little triangular wardrobe for a DIY. And this mirror and this clothing rail, I'm like, oh my girl, my room is really girly. And I'm not, I get weird about my room or things being girly. Like I get like, if I'm too pink and too fully, I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I can handle it. Like I try to be more on the middle androgynous side. And so like too much girly, frilly, pink, it, it may, I don't know how I feel. So when I'm in my room, it's nice, but I'm just like, my bed also is like a wrought iron, like, swirly kind of thing and now I'm like I gotta get a different bed then if my room's gonna be this girly my bed needs to be unisex like I can't look like this so anyway if I put on my sheets that match this blanket plus this blanket like I feel like my room will be the ultimate girl room the furniture is all white I got pink shit on the bed there's fairy lights everywhere copper rose gold like DIY wardrobe thing hanging up with Christmas lights around it like what the fuck like it's so much I have so many feelings about it anyway I'm gonna try to embrace my femininity because it's, it's, it's coming from somewhere. I'm buying it. It's me, but I just. <sighs> anyway, other things that I got are socks. I don't know if you're sensing a cozy, warm fall thing here, but like I wanna be warm and cozy. Um, and so I had to get these socks. I cannot control myself. They were not on the list. They were not supposed to come home with me. And I saw them and I was like, guess what? You're coming home with me. Um, and then I haven't been working out since I got back. Because I now where my job is located, I don't really like 
any place near it. I feel like we're like in the middle of nowhere. Like we're near AT&T Park and if you're familiar with the Bay Area, there's nothing over by AT&T Park. And so me and my friend Angie, we have class pass and we used to go to classes like every morning or every night by our job when we were in the mission because there were tons of fitness studios in the mission. And so now I'm kind of like in this blah state and then also like I hadn't bought any new workout gear in a while. So I was like, if you want to get your life, you got to be cute. That's how I motivate myself. So I need to get some new shoes and I think I know which ones I'm gonna get. They're hella cute. I can't remember the name of the brand right now, but when I get them, I will film that. Um, but but while I was there, I went at Target, I got some workout clothes. So these are just like some, some semi-basic, like long, Pants. What am I saying? Workout pants um, with some mesh detailing or whatever. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about these pants that I got. These workout pants. So normally when I get my workout pants, um, <coughs> excuse me, they're <coughs> they're really tight. I usually get them pretty tight. And I'm just kind of over that. Like I'm kind of over having my pants be too tight. So they're pretty loose at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that um for me like from what I'm used to but I just think that I hate having to pull my pants up all the time when I work out and I just decided that it's time for me to live a new life um and then for this top I didn't throw on a sports bra because I have one coming in the, the mail it's actually at my job right now but I've been off I took the week off for my birthday um but yeah this is sort of this is the little the outfit I got from Target. I actually really like it. Like I didn't know if it would really go together and it might not to most people, but I, I think it's super cute. Like I said, purple and purple and gold were like my church colors growing up. So to me this is like completely reasonable. My hair is driving me crazy. I'm so over it. Like I'm so over it. I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. I just don't like my curls lately. I got some new hair stuff though, so I'm gonna try it and see. But like, it's just so fluffy and my curls are just like, I don't love them. I don't love them. I do still love my hair color. I need to put more in, cause it's not, it's kinda, I don't know, it's not as uh, rose gold as I want it to be right now. And then clearly I need to get my hair cut. My barber was like, me, oh man, she drives me crazy. I love her death, she drives me crazy. Um, it said I could schedule an appointment today, and then she was like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have let you schedule an appointment today. So she was like, she said I can come in tomorrow, but tomorrow's my birthday. I was like, I don't want to get my hair cut on my birthday. I want to get it cut before, but I need to get it cut. So I think I'm just going to end up scheduling if she still has time open tomorrow morning because I can't live my life like this. But anyway, yeah, so these are the pants. I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm into them. And I feel like, oh, it's going to be such a revelation to not have to pull my pants up every two seconds or have them feel super duper tight so yeah um cool I just wanted to have that note I don't know how to hold my camera yet I'm figuring it out I'm gonna get my life in order I don't know anything about anything bye and I got them with this cute little gold top because I think purple black and gold is cute because I grew up in a missionary Baptist church and I feel like that's just the color scheme of life like that was definitely our church colors so it's coming from somewhere but anyway yes yeah, so it's like this kind of bronzy so maybe not true purple and gold but you know what I mean and so I thought that'd be cute I'll hopefully show you guys what it looks like on me and I also have workout clothes coming from fashion to figure so once that happens class pass is raising their prices again which I get like I hate it but I get it but I just I can't support it um it's just not worth it to me at that point so um I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do instead as far as um, workout clothes. No, workout, working out what I wanna do instead. Do I wanna work with a personal trainer for a little while? Do I wanna just work out at home? Cause it's not like I don't know how at this point. Like I've worked out pretty hard and pretty regularly with like some pretty awesome people. Like I don't actually need anyone to teach me. I'm just kinda lazy probably cause I haven't done it in a while so I need someone to be like, all right, make a routine and then after like a month or two, I could probably be done and just do it myself at home. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's what I got at Target. I'm gonna show you kind of quickly what I got for clothes. Um, don't mind my living room, it looks so crazy. We'll start with this actually. This, don't mind me, I'm gonna show you all my legs. Um, this I got from, 
where did I get this? Fashion Nova. And it's just like a, hopefully you can see that. It's just like a sweater, supposedly, but it's like really long, as you can see. Um, because like my long slots. These, I got these too recently. Um, where did I get these? Um, Target as well, because I have a problem. Um, cool. So don't mind my crazy, messy living room. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to show you. Stand by. The stuff I have on my clothing rack. Uh, cool. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Moving around. So this is my clothing row. Cool. So I also lost the bottom <laughs> to my tripod. So I'm like literally setting my camera on the tripod and hoping it doesn't fall off. Okay, Pretty so. Okay, cool. So <coughs> excuse me. So basically my clothing <coughs> theme for um fall is like the main colors this doesn't really go but like I just sometimes throw it on so it's on my clothing rack also because it's just so fun and yellow but it's not a part of my clothing thing so we're gonna take it off now um is this burgundy maroon color like I said like a green this isn't the right green it's more like the green of my shoes which I'll show you in a second um black obvi um, this, <laughs> this color, because I love and I'm obsessed, as you can see. Um, <laughs> and then I have more of it. Um, and then more burgundy, and then like gray. So it's um, burgundy, black, green, mauve, gray, basically. Um, so yeah, so basically, what do I have on here? This is um, inside out, because I just washed it and had it up to dry. This is um this long sleeve crop top that I got from Forever 21. Yes, this is from Forever 21. And it's super basic. I got it because I was like, I want to join the fat girl crop top movement, but I wasn't really ready. So I usually wear this under something where it's okay if a little bit of my skin peeks out, but I haven't graduated to the point where I can just rock it with my stomach out. We'll see. This also is a crop, but it's not a crop. It, it has um, a green spaghetti strap dress that goes over it. It's super duper cute. I'll insert some outfits. I think I did an OOTD in this. No, my friend took pictures in it, so I'll show you guys what that looks like. Um, what else? <laughs> this is randomness. Uh, this, I got, this top I got from Google. I'm not super in love with it, to be honest, but like, because we have to pay for return shipping for Boohoo, unless it's something I hate, I'm not going to send it back. Like, there's another dress that I tried on that I didn't love, and um, I just kept it. Because I'm just like, if it costs the same amount that I'm going to get back to, to ship it back, it doesn't make sense. And I usually only shop when their sales are like, so I'm like, oh, $10 to ship this back? And it's like, you're going to give me $11? Oh, never mind. It's fine. Um, I got this at Forever 21 when I was looking for leggings. I just wanted a whole bunch of basic leggings. The one I went to was was whack, and they didn't have it. Um, and then I saw this, and it just reminded me of, like, old school sweaters, and I just fell in love with it. I was just like, and I, I was not into the old school sweatsuit look. Like, I hated those banded sweatsuits where, like, shrunk up on your ankle. But for some reason, when I saw that, I just really was into it, so... This is awesome inside out. This dress I love. It's very short. But shit, what else is new? I'm trifling. Um, yeah, so this is it. It's super cute. Did you start on me again? No, okay. Um, and I really like it. I think I talked about this in the footage I'm filming for you know how to go without a bra. So I wanted to make sure that I show you guys some of my shoes that I got too. So I went ahead and threw it on with this dress because I feel like this is um, a good dress for these shoes. Um, or they look really good with like skinny jeans or leggings or whatever. Um, and then also I wanted to talk a little bit about this dress. This is one of those dresses that has like um, sort of like one of those empire waistlines. And so I think this is a good dress to talk about for like not wearing a bra. So like... <laughs> Excuse me. My boobs are not 
are just not perky enough for this top, right? So like if you were looking, you could see that like I need my boobs to sit up just slightly higher for them to be to, to go above this line, which is ideal for this type of a dress. So this is one of those tops where I would probably wear a bra um, just so that it's my boobs sat right in this top, right? So I am going to go put on a bra or bralette and come back. Um, but like this is sort of just to talk about like in what situations I would wear a bra. Um, not to say, I, I don't know, not to say it looks terrible, but like I feel like to me this line means that your boobs should be sitting above it and like since they're not in this top, I would just want, I would prefer in this dress for them to be, to be sitting above that line. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go grab one and come back and show you what it looks like, um, with a, um, with a bra on. Woo, words. Okay. I'll be Okay, so this is not a perfect example just because the bralettes that I have are really lacy. Um, so I'm going to have to get one that isn't or get um, just like a like a strapless bra that um, is like really plain. Um, I have one, but I don't know where it is right now. Um, so I just wanted to just like show any bra that's going to like, you know, have them a little higher up. Can my nipple not be showing? Um, yeah, so this just, now you see how they're just like above this line. Like, I just think that that's better, more ideal for this kind of a top. Um, and this bra also has, like, <laughs> detailing because it's meant to be shown. So it's, like, you know, like giving me, like, weird cutlets and everything. So, like, let's not focus on this. Just focus on the fact that this bra brings my boobs above the line, which is what I ideally want. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I think you can see that, right? Um, so, yeah, so that's sort of... The situations where I feel like I hate my hair, I hate my hair, um, <laughs> where I feel like I will wear bralettes or bras or whatever is when I feel like it does something for whatever I'm wearing that I feel like it needs to be done. Is that how words work? I don't know. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you the difference in this dress. With a bra, without a bra. With a bra, without a bra. Um, so hopefully that... You can see that difference. Because um, I feel like this dress is like a perfect, because it has an empire waist, it's a perfect dress to talk about that kind of stuff. This shirt dress I am obsessed with. When I first got it, I wasn't sure because it is kind of oversized and my friend Millie was like, that's the whole point. That's what she's supposed to do. And it just took me a while to feel like I was looking all cute in it and rocking it. I do think it'd be cute with a belt. I never wear it with a belt, but like maybe if I do um, some style videos, I can try to do this. I don't know how did I grab this before this. Anyway, I'm crazy. Um, but yeah, so what was I going to say about this? I don't know. I really like it now and it's super cute and I need some thigh high or knee high boots to go with it because I just threw some out that were dying. But then... This dress I also really love. It has these really awesome bell-shaped sleeves that are super long and just extra dramatic. And then it has like the ever popular in every brand all across the world, lacing, lace detailing up here. This is also one that's interesting without a bra or can be nice with a bralette situation. So I think I also address that in um, my how to go about a bra video and then this is also from boohoo this is like also like kind of like a drapey dress but the sleeves are very fitted i am i love this dress it's so comfortable it's so cute i can just throw it on and go like this dress is everything um and then this dress is a little harder for me to style i don't have like the right shoes for it but i just thought it was really cute i also have a bodysuit from them that's like this with like a, a neck that i bothers me because it's not it's supposed to be like a choker bodysuit with like the opening in the chest and i just feel like it's too loose but every every review i've seen when people buy them they're just loose like that so that's just what it is but anyway i think this is a cute dress i wore it the other day and it was fine this is a dress i already own but i felt like it went really well with the theme of um, my situation is just like a sweater dress from Esprit. Uh, and then these are my first, this is my first Fashion Nova order ever. I've never ordered anything from Fashion Nova. So this 
these jeans, some jeans they sent me that were the wrong, they sent me, I ordered my jeans on a 1X, cause I'm plus size, and they sent me one pair and one X, just fine, and one pair in a size one. What am I gonna do with that? What am I gonna do with that boot? Like, what am I gonna do with that? What, fashion of, what? I don't know. Anyway, so, these are the super high-waisted uh, jeans. I don't think they're like the super stretchy ones everyone's always talking about, but they're really high waisted and awesome. And then these these are my overalls from Boohoo, which I also insert a picture of me wearing. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically what's going on for the clothing situation. That all seems probably pretty random, so I'll do um, I'll break down everything and like sort of do like a how to wear it kind of video maybe later so these are the shoes these the, the first pair is from bsw um the second pair is from fashion nova these my mom sent me they're uh gucci what are these i don't know my mom just be sending me stuff yeah these are gucci um and then these i love these are also from dsw they're steve madden's and they're super comfortable um <coughs> excuse me so that's kind of like my shoe situation um what i really need in terms of shoes are some simple black booties and some high, knee high or thigh high. I really want some thigh high boots. I want like some hooker, slutty, trashy boots and I want to wear super, super short skirts and just be trifling. That's what I want. Um, we'll see if I can make my dream come true. It's really hard because I got thick thighs so I don't really know. But I'm going to do my best and I think that might be it because I'm going to show you the bathroom. I'm also doing a little bit of crafting. I'll show you that real quick. This basket has all my craft stuff. I'm going to make some flower crowns. So I'll, uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know. Like, I'm going to make some flower crowns and some other shit to decorate. Because, you know, now that Thanksgiving is over, it's time. Um, so, yeah, so that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that I'm a slack with videos, but now that I have a new camera and everything, I'm really going to try to step my game up. Thanks for rocking with me. Bye.